Okay, let's jump right into it. I've been really, really excited to um, speak to you guys tonight and talk about launching your business. So this is a call for new reps starting their business, just to kind of give you a little bit of um, kind of the first steps and then maybe working your business after you have started. So first and foremost, my name is Sarah Anderson. For those of you that do not know me, if you are on this call, you are on my team. Um, and I hope to meet you one day at the in-person summits or that we just had. Um, but I wanted to kind of get on here, introduce myself, talk a little bit about my story. And then I wanted to kind of explain what this call is gonna be. So I uh, started with Zaya actually the, the day that they launched. I had zero desire to do direct sales. I am an introvert. I was suffering with um, social anxiety and depression at the time when Zaya launched. But I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I, well, what's funny is I signed up to sell Saint makeup, if you, uh, mascara makeup, anyway, two weeks before, and I kept trying it. And what's funny is if you can see me, I actually don't wear makeup. I mean, I've got like a big zit right here and I didn't even cover up. I, I wear mascara and eyeliner is like what I wear. And so for me to like contour and do all these things, my husband was like, I don't think you're doing it right. So I signed up, I was there for two weeks, never posted about it, just kept doing this. It's great makeup. I couldn't figure it out. And then um, I saw active work and I knew that I lived in it. I knew everyone I knew lived in it and I knew I wanted to be a part of it. And I would figure it out that even though I didn't really like talking to people, we had just moved. I just felt like all my friends when I moved, even though it was only a mile away, I felt like they all disappeared. Um, but I knew I wanted to be doing this. I knew I wanted it for me as a stay at home mom. My husband was at work all the time and I was alone with my four kids and struggling. And so I wanted to do something for me. Um, and so I jumped in, did it. And I will say that um, the excitement, once I touched my clothes, which I'm sure that many of you, if you did not try Zaya before, um, once I got them, I was like, I just signed up to do this thing. I didn't tell my husband, it was, nine, it was $850 for the kit when I signed up. I did not tell him till a little bit later. And then I let him know and he's like, hey, if that's what you want to do, <laughs> but it was crazy. Took off running. I decided if it was going to happen, I needed to just get out there and get out of my own way. So lots of different times, you know, ebbs and flows in your business, times I wanted to quit, times like I've been like, this is the freaking best thing ever, but every single day showing up consistently and continually bringing people to do this with me because I love it so much and know that it can bless so many people. So I'm super happy that you guys are here. I hope you know how much you belong, no matter what your background is, what you, what training you already have. Um, if you're an extrovert, an introvert, an organized person, a complete mess, like you are welcome here and you get to build the business that you want. And so we're really excited to talk to you through that. So about um, the call tonight, we're gonna talk about setting up your business. Some of you may have already done that. I just wanna make sure and kind of get to the very, very basics because tomorrow is Zaya Wednesday. We wanna make sure that you are ready to go on those game day leggings that are going to launch. We're gonna talk about next steps after you've kind of set up your business. And then we're gonna talk about resources and then I have a Q&A at the end. So as questions come up, drop them in the chat. I'll probably just refer to them um, at the end so I don't get super distracted and that we are here so that you can kind of get back with your families as well, okay? Because that is my personal priority. I run a very, very large business, but my family is my number one priority and I want that to be for you too because I know that you can have both. Um, okay, so first and foremost, if you have not, Megan, will you drop actually the downloadable link to the Moonshot Guide on there to the launch guide? And I'm sorry, you probably don't have it readily available. I thought I would, but I didn't. Um, first, what you're going to do is you're going to download this launch guide. This launch guide is like launching your business in 10 steps. It's everything that you need to know. We're also going to cover it here. She's going to drop it in the chat. You can download it to your computer and um, print it out, whatever it is that you want to do. And that's going to kind of give you the launch basics of starting your business. Okay. So the launch guide, that is something that we created to help you launch your business strong. Um, it's going to walk you through setting your business up, getting connected. She just downloaded it there if you guys want to click it. And it's also going to help you announce and then um, get through your launch party and then moving on to rank advancement. Um, so that make sure and download that. Um, the first thing that we want to make sure that you do is to personalize your rep website. On that um, document, there is a link for you to go and do that so that you are able to just jump right in. I mean, it doesn't matter. You guys are all signed up. You are ready to sell as much as you possible. This setting up your web website and changing the name actually doesn't really matter. Um, it'll say myzaya.com backslash and then 1006 is my number. Um, or it can say Sarah. So whatever, it doesn't matter. It works no matter what. But we say personalize your rep website so that when your mom goes and shops, she's like, 
wait, I don't know if I'm on your website. When it has your name there, it's a little bit easier. Um, the next thing, and there is also a video that is attached to that, to that sheet for you to reference as you are personalizing your website. The next thing we want you to do is set up a party link. I'm gonna explain this a little bit more, um, but there's a couple different ways to order. The most, um, the best way to take care of the pay, take advantage of the pay plan and to get you as much free and discounted as I as possible is to order through your own shop link. As reps, we can host our own, um, as many parties as we want, meaning I have just a link for my customers to shop through. It says Zio our customer purchases. I'm the host of that link. And anyone that places an order through that link on my website goes towards me getting free and discounted Zaya. Now, if somebody goes to your website and doesn't click to shop that link, that's okay. You can move them later and you still get commissions. You still get all the things. But if they shop through that link, if they click the link on your website, you're getting commissions and it's going towards free and discounted Zaya. So I wanted to get my personal link set up right away so that any orders that came through for, you know, right when I started or through my launch, it was set up and ready to go for anybody to order. Um, so there's also a video in there to help you know how to set that up. If you have any questions, drop them below into the chat as well. Um, but setting up that party link is kind of, I mean, like doing your profile is not that most, or like personalizing your website is not the number one most important thing, but I do think getting that link set up really kind of sets you up to start earning that free discount of diet, especially as there's going to be 7 million things that you want. Do not ever like pay full price. We get the discount or you can um, be making commissions and all that. Okay. All right. So then we want to make sure that you are getting connected. They'll also have a video there for you to use your, um, to use your starter kit gift card. So if you haven't done that, or you want to just see how to locate it, there's a video there for you too. That can be used as payment, obviously, on any order that you place. You're just gonna get the, co the code in your back office, and then you can use it as payment um, on anything. And you can just use it all now, or a little bit now and a little bit later, or you could save it as giveaway gift cards, um, gift card codes for future. Really, there's no way, no bad, um, wrong way to go about that. So the next thing is getting connected, making sure you're connected. I am going, I am the, the starter of Team Zaya Papaya is the cheesiest name you'll ever see. I'm not a cheesy person. I've wanted to change it 17 million times, but it is nostalgic because we were the very first team page that was ever started in Zaya and nobody could pronounce Zaya. I mean, when I first got on the phone, right when I started, I got on the phone with Erin Bradley and I was like, Zia. And she was like, well, Zaya. And I was like, Zaya, 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 Zaya. I can't pronounce that. So every, we had tanks made that said Zaya equals equals papaya. Like it was like, guys, we're trying to get the word out. It's Zaya and it rhymes with papaya. So that's why it's that. And just because it's been around forever, we're just keeping it. And I don't even think it's weird anymore until I sign somebody up and then they're like, but what does that mean? And I'm like, yeah, I know it sounds so cheesy. Let's kind of break this down. So that's what that is. Team Zaya Papaya Facebook group. That is everybody on my team. Not everybody is on there as we have a ton of leaders and some of them have their own team page but you're gonna hear from different leaders on there. That's for recognition, it's for announcements, it's for team call announcements, team call recordings are placed there. We're also going to, sometimes I'll go live and do a training, um, lots of different things going there. So make sure that you are there, but if you're already on your personal uplines team page, stay there. I don't think that you have to be on 17 team pages, okay? All right, um, then getting connected, your upline will probably add you to a chat or something else. I would say right now, if she's adding you to a bunch of stuff, you don't need to stay in all of it. Ask her what is the most important thing to stay in. I would say one team page and one chat or, or just stay you know, in communication with her somehow. Um, you can add more later, but I know as you get going, sometimes it can be a lot and you're wondering if you need to be in all these hundred places at once, you don't. Um, at the end of the day, you're building a business and all this communication can be white noise because you can go through without any of it. You don't have to be on this call tonight. It's just a little bit of a help. If you miss something, you're not behind, um, but there are some helpful things for you and your upline can also tell you that. Um, and then I will also send, well, we'll cover resources, but making sure you're there. And then we also have it, um, Zaya has something called the Zaya Marketing page. And this is a very helpful Facebook group. It's Zaya Marketing page, I think that's how it's called. I've to see it in my brain. Um, but that is where you can find different sizing help. You can type in the size you want. You can type in the item that you're looking for and different pictures will show up so that you can see how something fits somebody. If you've 
never purchase a parallel bra, you're going to know exactly how it fits. If you're going to say, I have a, somebody has a 38 double D parallel bra, you're going to type that into the search bar, you're going to see pictures pop up and sizing help. Okay, so there's lots of different graphics in there. It's very, very helpful. I mute that page because it goes off all day long and I make 0%, so no money scrolling that page, just looking at what people are posting. And because I have so many kids, I do not and, and that's my attention. I don't want to waste it scrolling on pages that don't really matter until I need them. So I mute it, but you don't have to. Um, the next thing we're going to talk into next steps. So you have now launched your business. You've signed up. Once you sign up, you have your website. You can start selling immediately. And that is what's so cool. There's nothing that you need to know. It is somebody ordering leggings. We don't sell lotions or creams or we don't sell vitamins that you need education on the products. Yes, there is sizing help, but outside of that, you can ask your group chat, you can ask your upline, you can go to the marketing page and find all of that information. Um, you can start selling. And so do not wait until you know everything. Um, there is a quote that was told to me by one of the founders of doTERRA. And he was like, ignorance on fire is better than knowledge on ice. So I will say one of the best things that happened to me was that I was able to start, and I did not see it as a blessing when I started, but I was able to start when we had nothing. Like the owners were picking and packing out of their house and they went out of town one weekend and then we got backtracked. We didn't have a team website. We didn't have any documents really, except for here's your Zaya kit, start selling or talking to people. And back then I was like, oh my gosh, I just wish that I could have some help. But you guys, I actually already knew what to do because it's about being a human and sharing something that you love. And um, so now I say that in that I'm going to go over resources and I don't want you to read through everything because you already know how to talk to people. Even me, social, like introvert lady, um, I decided that I it was almost like I told my husband, I was like, if I'm going to be successful at this, I mean, if somebody came up and talked to me and I wasn't expecting him, I would go flush like at church. I would go flush and like hide behind my kids and like try and get out of the room. Um, and I was like, if I'm going to be successful at this, I need to put on like an alter ego, like Beyonce. Like I was like, I'm just going to start messaging everybody that I know. I'm going to tell everybody that I know what I'm doing and I'm just going to start going. And that's what I did. And I, I'm telling you that because it worked. It was exactly what I needed to do. And there was a lot of no's. There was a lot of embarrassing no's. There was a lot of people that were like, I've never heard of you. And then within three weeks, everybody was wearing the same pair of leggings because we only had a few and it was just <laughs> craziness. And everyone's like, yeah, I don't know if I want those leggings. My 10 relatives are all already wearing them. But um, I just challenge you to go before you know everything. Don't, do not wait. Um, that is the number one advice that I can give. And I say it because I know that the tendency is to not look dumb, to figure it all out before you kind of step out there. So the next steps in your business is bringing brand awareness to your new business. Imagine that you have this brand new brick and mortar store. What would you do if you just opened an activewear store in a building? Would you post to social media once and like pray that somebody would comment and you'd be like, hey, come on, come look, you know what I mean? And it would be like, then they forgot that they commented or whatever. What would you do? I challenge you to really kind of break that down in your head, write down what you would do if you had a brick and mortar store and then see how you're gonna do that for your Zaya business. This is your business. Just because there are other reps selling the same thing, it does not matter. People are going to buy from you because you are you and because you're showing up and because you're telling them about it. So a few things that I would do if I was opening a brick and mortar store is I would definitely post on social media. I look at social media as billboards. People are scrolling past just as fast as they're driving down the freeway. Um, so they're getting information. They're not necessarily stopping and reading everything. And if you don't get a lot of posts or views at front, that doesn't mean that they're not seeing them, but they're probably kind of just like scrolling, right? The number one way to build brand awareness is by personally inviting people to look at it. Hey, so-and-so, like say, hey, Megan, I'm so excited. I know you love fitness. I know you love, be I know you love activewear. I just partnered with Zaya. I would love to show you some of my favorite pieces. I would love to show you what we do. I would love whatever it is that you want to say. Don't, like you're a human, right? And sometimes it's like, wait, what do I say to them? What would you say to your sister-in-law when you just signed up for Zaya? I was like, Okay, I just did the weirdest thing I never thought I would do, but now I just be selling activewear and I would really like you to see it. Like we word vomit, we say dumb things, but they love us. And that's why we practice on our friends and family. And 
you just got to get the word out there. So whether it's people that you haven't seen for a while, people at work, maybe people in your neighborhood, maybe um, people on social media that you're personally messaging. If you are only posting, that's only a little bit of the equation to getting brand awareness out there. So kind of make a list of things that you want to do to launch a business. The next thing that we always talk about is a business launch. So that would be an in-home party, a Facebook event. Um, kind of look at what that looks like for you. A lot of people do both. They will do an online party and then they'll do an in-home so that people don't, that don't live by them um, can still kind of shop and kind of look at what it is that you're doing and see these incredible products. But then it also introduces people that do live by you to the products ahead of time. And then they want to come and see what it is that you're doing at your house. Um, however you want to do it, don't overthink it. And we have lots of different layouts and different templates and stuff for you to utilize for your um, online party. But the only thing that I actually think matters, and a lot of people are like, how many posts a day? How many days do I run it? How many lives do I do? What is, how long is a live? If you're doing a Facebook one, the only thing that I think matters in a Facebook or an online is connection that you are personally inviting people. You show up and you share your excitement and, um, and going live so that they can actually see the close in action with, if you're in person, you're going to see um, kind of, they're going to touch and feel the close. I will say our in-person parties usually do the best. I just had a, a person, uh, one of my first levels, she launched her business and did about $2,000 in sales in two hours in her launch party that was an in-home. Um, she hasn't done her Facebook party yet, but I promise you that if people can see this stuff, they are going to want it. So that is what we're going to do. I want you to make a list of all the people that you can talk to about it. You guys, this incredible product, you're just inviting them. You're not forcing it down their throat. I just signed up with this active wear line. I would love to introduce it to you. I know that you love working out. I know that you are a teacher. We have so many pieces for you. I know you're a nurse. We have so many pieces for you. I know that you work in an office job. We have the best joggers. I know you're going to love them. I would love to send you over a few links for you to check out. Don't overthink it. They want to, they want to support you and just expect the nose. I remember one of my friends, I asked her to host a party and she was like, uh, I guess. And I was like, yeah, no, actually, never mind. I'm just going to like never talk to you again because I feel so stupid. You guys, she signed up a year later. Like, I promise you, everybody that told me no has signed up or everyone that probably thought I was like, what are you doing? No, they've ended up signing up. So just keep showing up no matter the no's, no matter the ghosting and celebrate all of those small wins. Um, our goal is to help you continually get those small wins. What are those small wins? Um, sometimes it can be monumental money, like money, not monetary. Is that what it is? Monetary. And sometimes it can be like, I'm freaking proud of you for showing up so consistently. Erica is so consistent at showing up. And every time I open my phone, I know that she is right there. And there's so many people that are going to, that are watching you and waiting. I mean, I've been doing this for five and a half years. And I just had somebody message me like, I've been watching you for a long time. I'd like to try your stuff. They are out there and they are watching. So just showing up. Okay. So creating brand awareness and getting to your launch party. Um, talk with your upline again. And there's so much stuff on our team website, which I'll talk about for that launch party as well. And drop ideas that you guys have into the chat. Um, the number one way to build your business is to meet new people or tell people about your business. When you're brand new, you don't need new people. You have a lot of people in your hot and warm market um, to connect with and invite them to do this. Um, it's also to be a human and a customer service person and a warm soul that, because when they go into Lululemon, they're not getting checked up on after they buy their stuff. They're not getting personal sizing help. That is why these businesses are so cool because they are personal. So personable. So keep them that way, right? Make sure that you are personable, that you are showing up, that you are that customer service, that you are inviting, that you are um, kind of sharing. And then the next thing is just inviting people. Those are the three things to do is talk to people, share what you're doing and like share, just be a, hu a warm human and then inviting people to try it, to join you or to host a party, whatever that may be, or to jump into your VIP. Okay. Jumping into resources, drop your questions below on that. Um, we're going to talk about a couple different things. Number one, I keep talking about this team website. I am going to screen share what it is so that you can kind of break it down. And then I'm going to talk about the best way to order. We're going to break down Wednesday releases. And then we're going to talk about the minimums. And then we're going to do Q&A. And if I'm forgetting anything, Megan or Erica, if you're like, I wish I would have done this, just, or Julie, um, just let me know. But I don't know what's on my computer right now. And my girl, oh, no, we're fine. My daughter was doing math. So sometimes... 
my children come in here. Okay, no, hang on, I've got a screen share. Like I'm new to this thing, okay. So we are going to come to the team website. When you get a link, Megan, will you drop a link to this? Oh, actually I can. Um, when you get this link, which also it is in that um, downloadable launch guide, you are going to see that you can log in, log in or a team, new team member. If you don't have an account, just do a new team member. It'll send you an email, it'll send you a login, and then you can go on and log in, and then you can go to your personal profile and change the, the password so that you have it. Now, we are redoing this. It just takes a freaking long time. So, um, it will blink like this to change your, your password, but everything is gonna be the same. It's just gonna be a little bit more simplified, okay? So what you're gonna do is this is the getting started. Here's the launch guide. Here's all the videos for getting connected. Um, I'm just gonna briefly go over this. So all the videos are here, people that you wanna, or back office basics, sorry. This, these are all the videos, why you wanna do it, the best way to order, how to redeem your gift card. So if you don't use that um, downloadable launch sheet, you will have it here. This also talks about choosing a goal. We want you to get on a call with your sponsor and talk about goals, talk about your launch, um, kind of get going. She is in your corner. She's been where you've been, okay? So um, she'll give you some advice and you could take it or leave it. This is your business, but we do know the things that will help you be successful and be able to hit those first bonuses that Zaya offers to help pay off your kit. So then you're going to come to your business launch. This will kind of give you launching 101. We also have written stuff as well as videos so that you can do that. Launch party tips. And then after your launch, you're going to change your launch party into your VIP if it's over on Facebook. This will be your community. This is where you're sharing the new releases. This is where you're sharing the restocks. This is where you're sharing your favorite recipes, your favorite books, your favorite workouts, your favorite styling tips whatever you want, this is your community. And I think it helps if you're building it around a lot of things that you like, because you're not just a Zyre rep. You didn't become, you weren't this person before, and now you're a Zyre rep. You still have so much to share with people. But what I love is I wanted to kind of talk about, and it's also following up with your customers, all this stuff, is this business launch FAQ. We took the most frequently asked questions and we put them here in this FAQ um, so that when you forget or when things come up, you're like, I don't know. I can't remember what she said there. Um, like, what if my launch party didn't get a lot of orders? Like, it kind of walks you through some how to, um, I can't remember the word there, but break, go through that and like work through that. Um, troubleshoot. And if you need to exchange something in your kit. So there's lots of different questions there. And then also we have another party FAQ down here. And these are all the party templates. So everything is here. What I would tell you is not read everything as you can tell. Oh my gosh, there's too much there. But I just wanted to show you what this is for you and, and kind of available, available to you. Okay, stop share. Okay, so that is the team website. Um, the next thing I wanted to kind of talk about is the best way to order. Um, so I, we kind of talked about this to talk about the pay plan. Hang on, my computer's about to die. Okay, I need a new one and it goes fast. So it was like 30 when I started and now it's like at one. Um, okay, so the best way to order and to take advantage of the pay plan. So as a rep, you get 25% off all of your orders. And you do that by placing them in your back office. Now, I'm going to cover this because I get this asked a lot. What is your back office versus your front office? Your front facing office is your website. It's MyZaya. If you're in Canada, it's MyCanadaZaya. If you're in Australia, it's MyZaya.com.au. But MyZaya.com slash your rep ID number or whatever you've changed it to. That is the customer facing website. This is what your customers see. Um, this is where you went on your sponsor's up website to go and sign up. And then the back office or your back office is myzaya.com. And then you're gonna enter your rep ID and um, a password that was given to you. Usually it's Zaya Active One. You can go in and change that. And that's where you kind of do all the back end work, your returns exchanges. You're gonna look at order history. You're gonna see your downline. You're gonna see your personal profile and customer things. So we do have a new website coming. We were able to uh, work on it today. Um, so that is coming and I'm really excited for what is to come, but up until then, that's what it looks like. And um, so when you go to place an order, personal order, when you go to your back office, you're gonna select or place an order and then personal order. That is how you place an, an order and get 25% off that order. Some, or that discount comes off automatically. You don't have to 
figure that out. Like you don't have to change anything there. It'll just come off automatically. You do not make commissions on anything you get the discount on. So you don't make commissions on your personal orders, but you get 25% off, awesome. If you would like to, what I personally do is I place my personal orders. Like if I'm going to place an order for my own personal leggings, I do not use the discount. Um, I place my order as if I'm a retail purchasing customer. So I go to my website, I click Zywear customer purchases link, that party link we were talking about. So where any order is placed through there, I get free and discounted Zaya. I place my order, I put, um, I pay full price, but then I get commissions back and it goes towards free and discounted Zaya. So for me, that is the best way to go. If you can wait to get your commissions back on that item, for the end of the month. If you can't, there's no wrong way, but it's just a little bit easier um, or you get a little bit more for your money if you're placing it through there. As a new rep, you get between 20 and 28% um, commission on your personal sales. Now we're going to talk about that. Minimums. Whenever we talk about minimums, you're going to look at QPV in your back office. It's the first letter on the left. Um, in order to pay, get paid commissions, you need to hit $200 QPV. Now, any order you place goes towards this. Your kit went towards this. Now you only get paid commissions on retail purchases, but um, 200 um, for commissions, 600 gets you a free website. If you're brand new, you don't have to worry about that. You get your free website for two months. So if you sign up this month, this month's free and October is free. Um, so that's the two months. And then if you hit a thousand, this is the most important one. If you hit a thousand in QPV for the month, that gets you a bonus 8% commissions. So it's the commission override of 8%. So you go from 20% to 28% on all retail orders throughout the month. So does that make sense? I always tell my girls shoot for at least a thousand so you're not leaving money on the table because as soon as you hit that thousand, you're gonna get 8% um, or 28% on all the retail orders um, that are placed through your thing, which I love Zaya and love that they do that. So do you guys have any questions on that? Um, drop them in the chat. I will look. I don't know what those. Oh, is that an image? Megan? Okay. That's an um, image that just kind of breaks down between using your discount oh, or, yes. or shopping at full price. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, okay. So if you have any questions on that, now, once again, this is not stuff you need to know tonight. We just wanted to give you a heads up. So when you hear it again, it's like, oh, that's familiar. Um, if you forget, talk to your upline before the end of the month and see like, how close am I? Where do I need to be? Um, checking that 200, the 600 and the thousand are the number one things. Now, tomorrow is Zaya Wednesday. We have new releases every Wednesday. If you're in Australia, they're on Thursday. So um, here in the United States, we launch our new products every Wednesday, 11 a.m. We get sneak peeks, which PS um, Canada launches at 1.30, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, but they get access or like sneak peeks at what's coming at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So they kind of know what's coming in also Australia. So everybody finds out what's coming for the day. Sometimes it is a little bit different in different countries. Um, if there is anybody from Canada or Australia, drop it in the chat just so I know. Um, you do not have to have an end date. Um, let me see this, sorry. So it will pull from your site in 30 days, but you can go in and edit it to stay on your site as long as possible. So I usually do 30 days, and if I haven't hit the rewards tier that I want, then I'll just change the date so it'll stay on longer. So it'll pull from your site in 30 days. Um, but okay, so I think we're all from the US here, but if you are in the different countries, we'll talk about that too. But items go on Zaya family, they will do kind of a breakdown of fabric and fit in the stories of the items that are released and starting at 10. You will also get an email at 10 with the items that are releasing so that you can kind of get that out to your customers. And then items go live at 11 on your website. They'll all be on that front page, the new and favorites. So you can easily shop. Now, sometimes items go super fast. And so we just like breathe and like, <laughs> just like stay calm. Um, and sometimes things are still there forever. Um, so, or not forever, but like they're there for like a week or two weeks or three weeks or six months. So, um, we never really know if it's a restock or a new color and something that we already love, it does usually go fast. You can already know sizing and fit and everything. If you're watching Zaya family stories, um, before they come in the email that you get, you have ready-made graphics that you can just post. So you're not creating graphics. You can download them and post, um, to your social media. 
And then if you are in Canada, those new releases are launched at 1.30. And if you are in Australia, I believe it's 4 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which I believe is 11 o'clock on Thursday your time. So um, like I said, sometimes in the different markets, it's different pieces. Um, because when we were summer, Australia was winter. So it's like a little bit different there. Okay, any questions? I think that that was my whole list. Um, please drop your questions below and I can kind of answer those or you can unmute. Yes, so Erica, great question. I, I, um, hang on, I'm reading too many. So as soon as it hits the rewards that I want, sometimes I build the rewards to 200, sometimes I build them to the 600 volume, sometimes I build them to the 1000 and sometimes to the 2000. I don't take all of them to the 2000 because I don't always need $300 and eight items 50% off. But what's really, really cool is your rewards, you can take them off the front of your website and create a new link for people to shop through. And that other link is saved in your back office till you're ready to use those rewards. So I have some from 2017, they don't expire. And sometimes I have extras that I just use to put as giveaways for my VIPs. So, and I'll like buy items and then I'm not paying full price for giveaways and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, once you hit your rewards that you want, then just create a new link and it's mine are all called Zioware customer purchases. I take down that one, put up a new one. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's 1.30, but what if it is 12.30? So like, I think that's great. <laughs> Either way, if you're Canadian, then you wouldn't know more than I do. Um, I don't know why I thought 1.30, but if it's 12.30, that's even better. And I actually think you're right the more that you're saying that. Um, Anybody else have any questions? Or if you want advice on anything. Or Megan, if you know any frequently asked questions that I did not go over. Okay. I think you got it. Oh, well, the newsletter, did you talk about that? I forgot. Okay, so every Sunday you're gonna get a newsletter from Yours truly for me. Um, check your spam if you're not getting it. If you don't want it, unsubscribe. You don't have to call and tell me. But I get so many messages. They're like, hey, I don't want this anymore because maybe they're on my 10th level and they have a different upline that, and I'm like, no, that's okay. Just unsubscribe. So if you don't want it, unsubscribe. Um, but it will have that week's calls. It will have that was what I was going to talk about the calls. So it will have that week's calls that we do as a big team. If you are not my first level, you may have different calls, um, that, but these are in addition if you want to jump on them, um, like tonight's call. And then it will also have just news or reminders or corporate things that are coming up. So it'll also do some recognition for top sellers, top recruiters, people that have hit the promo. So that's every Sunday morning. Um, so you will see that and be ready. And then we also for calls, so every fourth Tuesday, we're going to start at the first Tuesday, actually, um, or the first week, every month, you will get a call from corporate. So they will call it the leadership call Be on that one. They also have recordings. They'll send out an email. Um, it's usually within the first one, two, three days, unless that's on a weekend. The second Tuesday of the month used to be our big team call. Now we do that quarterly. So the next one will be October, January, I believe it's April, July, and then October again, the second Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, and then we also have every third Tuesday, everything's on Tuesday, okay? This one's the most important. We have a Become an Active Wear Rep sneak peek event. That is something maybe some of you were in that. We run it monthly. We have different people speaking each month so that you can um, invite people that it's a third party tool for you to invite people to talk about the rep opportunity. You're brand new, you probably don't know everything, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be inviting people to this because there's so many people that are gonna be benefiting from this. And when you get somebody on your team, I feel like that's when this business becomes even more meaningful and you get to run together. So we're inviting people to that and you can invite as many people as you want. And that is the third Tuesday of every single month on Facebook and then the fourth Tuesday is tonight and it is a new rep training call for anybody that signed up but that's really what we pushed in the new rep training like join today and get on our new rep training to start your business right away okay what do you do in live videos while you're waiting for people to join i was so awkward on my first live and didn't prepare for what to say do while waiting for people to join well erica i am proud of you for getting on and going live because i didn't do that for a long time and i wish that i did it even more I'm a panicker and I hate awkward silence. So I usually just like jump right into it. <laughs> I just like kind of sit there and like, okay, let's jump into it. And usually people aren't on yet. And then they can kind of jump in and watch the replay if they need to. But I would just say, 
I would just go. Like you can wait if you want, but if that's not comfortable for you, do it however you feel comfortable. How many parties did you have until you got your first drop? So my part, okay. So parties are the lifeblood of this business, but also just meeting new people. I mean, it's because you meet new people and you invite them in, right? You, you invite them to try the products. You do that kind of stuff. Um, for me, I got my first rep. Um, she never joined a party. She knew me and I told her I was doing it. So she didn't come from a party. Um, that came from personal invites, which is what I really did at the beginning because Facebook parties weren't a thing. So I was doing in-home parties and I was doing like farmer's markets and just like trying to get in front of as many people as possible or booths at marathons. Um, so I feel like you really can, um, I think it isn't necessarily how many parties you're doing. It's how many people that you're talking to about it and actually inviting. And I think that you will be surprised at how many people, you know, may say no right now, but then they're watching or, and Megan, you can answer into this too. Um, but we say four parties a month. Um, that doesn't mean four, one each week. That means maybe four parties in one week and you add them all into the same group, um, is kind of like the baseline to get the 2,500 in sales and reach three new reps, three, four to six parties. I would say, if you're looking for, um, three reps, anything else? Okay. Just watch that Instagram reel on what to do when you start your lives. I'm just kidding. Oh, is that the one where the girl like, was, like it's actually a guy with like fake hair? It's like a pillowcase, but it's oh. really <laughs> like drinking or Stanley. Um, no, that's so awesome. Like brand awareness, lives, reels. How do you spread brand awareness? Lives, reels, short form video, social media, um, in person talking, uh, personal messages. Like, just think about exploding your business through messaging, whether that's social media messaging or DMing, texting, emailing, just launching it that way as much as possible. Even more important than your party content, than your lives, it's gonna be your follow-up. So just taking care of the people individually, one-on-one, -on -one, and people really do appreciate follow-ups. I know for me personally, if I'm in a party, I can have stuff in my cart like three times and then I just keep forgetting to push submit because life happens, children happen. So people following up is what gets me to purchase. So know that when you're following up, you are actually doing service. You're not being annoying. Agree. I was in a pampered chef party. <laughs> I was like, didn't even realize it had started. And then she was like, it's time to place your last order. And I'm so glad she said that. Cause I'm like, I haven't even been in this party. What should I order? Just tell me what to order. And then I just went and ordered it because, and it wasn't that I didn't want to be in the party. I didn't get the notification. So just about following up, sending those messages. Um, kind of connecting that way. Great questions. Keep them coming. One thing I always let the hostess know too, because sometimes a party just doesn't go well and it's just timing. So I just let the hostess know, I'd be like, you know what? Like I have had parties that are zeros and four months later we do it and it's a thousand dollar party. So just having them not take it personally um, and you not take it personally either. Sometimes it's just timing and the next time you do it, it's going to be way better. Yeah. And sometimes they want to support them. And I've had some girls that have thrown parties and then they signed up as reps, right? I mean, Erica has thrown a party. I just had a hostess that um, she was my hostess in September and she decided to use her credits towards the kit. And I invite all of my hostesses to sign up as reps. And so that's another reason why we say four to six parties um, because your hostesses see how it is that you run this business, they get connected with what that looks like, and then they can use their credits in the party towards the kit to get it discounted too. With not a lot of inventory. So Erica, that is another great question. So what I did is um, I brought all of my stuff. So clearly I started at the beginning, so I didn't have stuff that I previously had bought. But at my reps now, I usually say, wash all your stuff. This is what I just did to help one of my other reps that lives by me. Wash all your stuff and bring it. And then have your a computer with the website open. So you can say, oh, those are the light and tights. Because in your kit, you get the light and tights. Those are the light and tights. This is what the light and tights, all the different light and tights that you can do. So if you end up getting extra host credits or something, what I would do if you're looking to buy a few things, I bought a light and tight in 
Um, I bought three lion tights in every other size. So I had a size small. So I bought another, or I had a size small. So I bought a large and then I bought a double extra large so that I had a couple different sizes that people could try on. If the large was too big, they knew they were a medium. If the small was too small, they knew where they were a medium. And then I also bought the bomber bra because I do feel like the bomber bra is what we base all other sizing off of that we can be like, this is my bomber size. Um, and it's the same as my bomber size. So you'll kind of see that. And I ended up buying, I was a small in the bomber bra. So I ended up buying a large and then double extra large as well. I even think I bought one more size in that. And I didn't buy an extra small because most extra small chest did ladies didn't care to try on a bra but our larger chested ladies did want to try on a bra. And so it was almost like I just bought a couple extra things. It was like three or four bomber bras with my credits and then three light and tights on in every other size that wasn't mine so that they could just go, oh, well, the large extra large fit in the light and tight. You like the lux, let's do this size. So it was just helpful in sizing or just so that they could try it on. But at the beginning, just take your stuff, take your kit. This is what it is. And I will say that that is great so good because they're not overwhelmed they're not like like when they go to the website and they're like there's seven I keep saying 17 million there are though there's so much stuff on there that you can say whatever you have there is what you're selling them these are the light and tights this is the bomber bra this is the all-star bra this is the copper charge tank this is what you're selling them and it, that's you don't even have to push anything else because they'll sell what they'll purchase what you're selling I have something to say too, Sarah. Can you, yes, can yes, you yes. hear me? I'm like a hot mess right now. So I apologize. Oh, I love seeing my face. To, yeah, it's beautiful right now. To the party point, something that I did in the couple that I've done in-house, rather than bringing a computer, I have a QR code and you can get them for free. And then you bring like just a piece of paper or make a little collage with the QR code. And then you can put the QR code in the middle of the table and they can all scan it so that then everyone's looking on their phones rather than having to pass the camera around. So I just wanted to mention that. That is brilliant. I've never done that. That is really, really smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on my um, cards too. Yeah, that's and all so my business smart. cards. Okay, great, 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 great. I love that because I have had people um, print out pages and it's like, because we go through stuff so fast, it's almost just like the biggest waste of ink and paper. Um, so I think that that's brilliant because you're looking at it live. What I would not do, which um, I want to make sure is I would not get a list of what they want and go home and enter it. I would have some sort of computer or make sure that they're checking out on their phone at the party and not giving you what they want. And then you have to call them for their card. That's what we did at the beginning. And it was <laughs> not fun. Just have them check out right there live. All right, any other questions? You guys, I'm really, really excited with where we're headed. Um, we are heading into the biggest selling season here in Zaya. Uh, as we head into December, start marketing for Christmas. Start, you know, being like, hey, are you shopping for your husband? These are some of our top men sellers. You can find that on the marketing page. You can make it up because in all honesty, all of our freaking men's stuff is amazing or start marketing the kids stuff. So just start. People are shopping and they, if they will see you, if you're putting yourself out there and so just get out there, don't wait, like just go because when you're waiting, you are not making any money. You're not paying your kit back. You're just overthinking and spinning and like getting into your head. Um, so I just challenge you to take that first step, whether it's announcing that you've done it, starting to send out 15 messages a day, 10 messages a day, 30 messages a day, doesn't really matter. Um, find your thing that you can do consistently and, and start going. Um, but I'm going to end this. This went a little bit longer. Sorry, ladies. Um, but I will end this. The recording will be available. We'll put it on Papaya. It'll also be on the team website. And we are so excited to get to know you guys more and to kind of watch you um, bloom here. So, all right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.